everyone, this is Iris, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do this hairstyle, which is inspired by the Mermaids of the Pirates of the Caribbean or Caribbean movie. If you have not watched that scene where the mermaids are singing to the pirates, please click in the information bar and I will post a clip to that scene. Also, I will show you how I did my makeup. Altogether, this look is supposed to make you seem as if you just came out of the ocean. Although I am completely dry in this scene, it does seem as if I have been swimming in salt water. Here's a closer look at the eyelashes that I used. I'll show you how I did that later. But if you want to just see the makeup, go ahead and click on the picture of the makeup. If you would like to only see the hair tutorial, then go ahead and click on the hair tutorial clip. If you would like to watch the whole video, then just keep watching. I started off with some clear mascara, and this is going to give my eyebrows the appearance of being wet. And I'm just going to try to flatten them and put them as close to my face as possible. After this, I'm going to apply my eyeliner just as I normally would. Nothing special here, but this is just going to set the location where I'm going to be applying the glitter later. Also, I'm going to be applying false lashes over my eyeliner. So there you guys go. You can see what the eyeliner looks like. Then I'm taking this glitter. It's called Gumball. And I'm using some liquid to uh, mix with the glitter. And then I'm just applying it over my eyeliner. Being very careful not to allow it to clump or get into my eyes. You can use any color that you'd like that matches with your costume. Then I'm using this eyeshadow by Maybelline. It's number 20. It's called Sapphire Siren. And I'm using this turquoise kind of color. Now, the reason why I didn't apply the eyeshadow before I did the eyeliner is because I do want to have some fallout on the eyeliner. So I'm doing it in this order, but you can do it in any order that you'd like. And I'm just applying it to my lid. And just stopping right where my um, lid meets kind of like the orbital bone when I open my eyes like so and you can blend it as much as you'd like but I just left it just like this then I'm taking the white part or the white eyeshadow from that same little palette and I'm gonna start to blend it into the lighter turquoise and bring it all the way up to my eyebrow these colors have lots of shimmer in them so they're perfect for that ocean kind of look. This is what the makeup looks like. And then I'm going to just use some eyeliner and I'm just kind of dabbing it to give the illusion. Sort of like if I've been swimming and I, and I, um, you know, uh, smeared my eyeliner a little bit. So I'm just kind of closing my eyes every time I apply it and applying it on my waterline and then making sure that it looks like it's just smudged. Once I'm done with that, then I'm going to use the black part of the same little palette that I used and I'm just going to dab it onto my eyeliner. This eyeshadow has some glitter in it so it also adds shimmer to the bottom of my lashes. As you can see, I'm using these eyelashes and they are by Ardell. They have these little gems on them already and it also gives the illusion of like wet eyelashes. As my glue starts to dry on my eyelashes. I'm going to use this glitter called Toffee and I'm just applying it very very lightly to the corners of my eye. You can kind of decide where you would want the glitter to fall. Just be really careful not to allow it to get into your eyes. But this is going to add to the wet effect or the wet look that you're trying to achieve. The more glitter you add to your eyes, the more water and sparkly it's going to look. So I'm using this cream blush and I'm going to blend it as much as possible. You can use any type of blush that you'd like. Just try not to add too much shimmer to your cheeks because with all the shimmer in your eyes, it's just going to overpower your face. And plus you're going to add more shimmer later, I'll show you. Here I'm using some clear mascara to clump my eyelashes together and then blend my natural lashes with the false lashes. You want to use like a lip tar or a lip stain to put onto your lips to add some color. I'm using a lighter color because I do have a lot of darkness on my eyes and I don't want to 
overpower my whole face. I'm allowing the color to dry and then I'm going to just take some plain Vaseline and I'm going to apply it not only on the um, middle part but just all over my lips and kind of go a little bit over my natural lip line just to kind of make it seem as if I just swam out of the water and have water on my lips. Using some more Vaseline I'm going to apply it on the high points of my cheeks. When you're applying this on your face make sure that you have a lot of light shining on your face so you can see where the light will be hitting your face as you turn and look in different locations. I'm applying just a little bit more under my eyebrows and the camera doesn't really pick up the shimmer but there is a lot of kind of like highlights and shimmering on my face. Moving on to the hair I am going to take sections like so. They don't have to be perfect, but if you would prefer for them to be perfect and have a straight line, then you can go ahead and do that for yourself. Then I'm just pushing that piece forward and tying the rest of my hair away just to keep it out of the way as I work on this spot. Now, you can choose to twist it the way that I did, or you can choose to do braids. It's going to be up to you. I'm using this gel and it is the Wet Look LA Looks gel and I'm putting it all over that whole section that I'm going to be working on making sure that I cover all the areas and the areas on the side. Then um, instead of twisting from the back part of that section I'm going to start from the beginning and then move my way back section by section. And again like I said you can do a braid if you'd like. In the front, I'm kind of pulling it up a little bit so that there's a little bit of a pomp in the front instead of it being completely flat. Once I got to the back, then I added a hair tie. Now I'm using these little hair ties that you can get like 50 for like, you know, two, three dollars. I highly recommend that you use these because they're easy to cut off and throw away later. I inserted a bobby pin just to make sure that this does stay in place nice and tight. And then I started working on the next section, adding hair gel and then twisting it. But as you can see on this section, I didn't twist from the front and then, you know, move my way back. I kind of started somewhere in the middle and then moved my way back because I don't want to have like two cones sticking out from the front of my head. I just want like the top to be the highest part. And then again, once you're done tying it, then you can stick in some bobby pins from the back. This will help it stay nice and tight and secure. On this side, I took a section like so that didn't have too much hair because you don't want it to fall heavy. And then I added the gel just as I've been doing with the other sections and then twisted it from the top instead of working my way from the front all the way to the back. Again, this is just going to ensure that it looks nice and smooth from the side. And then I made sure that the hair that's left over is hanging kind of forward and pushed forward toward my ear. Add the bobby pin to make sure it's secure. Pull up a couple of pieces of the hair just to make sure that you've got some fullness there and then do the same thing on the other side. These rubber bands are awesome. Once I was done I just cut them off instead of having to work with detangling my hair to take them out. So now I'm just wetting my hair with a spray bottle. You can also um, go and take your hair to the sink and, and wet it but you definitely want to have it nice and damp so that you can start adding a whole bunch of this gel. Now I really like this gel because it doesn't flake. You really, really don't want to use a gel that you've known or that you've used before that flakes on you because that's going to look really nasty. So just scrunch up your hair and now I'm going to be working with this gold hair and body glitter spray. Wait! Do you want glitter all over the place? No, go spray it somewhere else. Yes, over there. Thank you so much. This stuff gets all over the place. You know that. <laughs> You're welcome. And now we are done. So this is the completed look. As I mentioned before, this is meant to look as if you are drenched in water, covered in sand and salt water. Please look at the pictures of the mermaids from the movie if you have not seen them. They are so beautiful and I was really happy to be able to imitate the hairstyle that they do have. I hope that you have been inspired. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.